Today we're going to talk about uh, measures of dispersion, which is basically measures of spread or variation, okay? So in the last video we talked about where the center might be, and now we're going to talk about um, how far away from the center the data is. Okay. So we do have a couple of objectives. One of them is to be able to use the calculator. You can see it here. So we're going to want to use that. And so the first thing that we want to do is determine the range for a data set. So the range is a measure of variability or spread from the lowest to the highest value. Determine the standard deviation for a data set. Standard deviation is something special to uh, statistics, and it is sort of sensitive to outliers. Um, but we're not going to discuss the interquartile range. We save that for uh, stat methods. All right. And three, use your calculator to help with the calculation of statistics. And again, that's why uh, the TI calculator is here. Now, while I am going to use the calculator, if you would like some uh, <clears throat> more specific work with the calculator um, on the <clears throat> website, uh, YouTube, right? UTU.BE. Uh, slash BRS underscore capital H P seven capital R nine lowercase Y C is a great video. Um, and actually the lady that does the videos does a great job with using the calculator uh, to show us what to do. Okay. So just as a an additional resource. Okay. So what is the range of values, right? Range is used to describe the spread of data items in a data set. Okay where two of the most common measures of dispersion are range and standard deviation. Range is the difference between the highest and the lowest data values in a data set. And this is why the range is very sensitive to outliers because an outlier is usually either the highest or the lowest data point. So Honolulu's hottest day is 89 degrees and its coldest day is 61 degrees. So the, temp the range in temperature is 89 minus 61 is 28 degrees. So there's only a variation of about 28 degrees uh, in the temperature on Honolulu. Whereas maybe Texas has the same average temperature, but it gets up to 110 and down to 49. And so its range is maybe 50 degrees. So it has much greater variability than Honolulu's does because it's in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. All right, so example number two. We want to find the deviations from the mean for the five data items. Okay, now there are several slides here, okay? for find the mean and the deviation and stuff. But basically we just have one, two, three, four, five values. All right. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and fire up my TI graphing calculator. I'm going to kind of put it in the center a little bit, right? And so with my graphing calculator, I can see I have some data that's already in there. So I'm going to go to the home screen, second quit, and then I'm going to use second plus, which is the memory. I'm going to use 4 for clear all lists and just hit enter. Alright, and now I'm going to hit the stat and enter again so that I can go straight into the list. And you'll see that my first value is 778, uh, so 778, enter. My next value is 472, enter. My next value is 147, enter. The next value is 146, enter. And the last value is 82, enter. Alright? <clears throat> Now, once I've done that, I'm going to use the stat list again, and I'm going to use my D-pad and go over to the right, and I'm going to select enter for the one variable statistics, and of course, I'm already in L1, so I just hit enter again, and now it tells me that my mean is 700 and 317, sorry. Uh oh My pen wasn't writing. So I'm at 317, okay? Now, some of these other things, we need some stuff in here, but the standard deviation is the SX, right? It's the one, two, three, fourth one down, and it is 302 to one, uh, to the nearest whole number, right? Okay, and then my range of values is down here on the on the bottom. So my min is 82 and my max is 778. So if I actually wanted to find the range of values, 
right? I'm going to flip this over. If I wanted to find the range of values here, I would take the 778 and subtract from it the 82. And so, of course, second quit takes you to the home screen. 778 minus 82 gives you 696. Okay. So, quite a bit of range, almost 700. Okay. The mean is at 300 and scooch this over just a little bit. The mean is at 317. You can see there's only two values above it. Okay. And the standard deviation from the mean is 302. Okay. So that's quite a bit of spread to get from that middle to most of the data items. So as you can see, uh, the U.S., Indonesia, Brazil are really low compared to uh, India and China. Okay, so this chart sort of indicates that the labor force in China exceeds the mean by 461 million workers. And in this computation for the United States with 147 million workers, the United States is 170 million workers below uh, the mean just subtracting those values, right? Now, oops, my calculator is running away. Okay, so there's this great uh, six-step process for finding the standard deviation. Uh, you're going to use most of it in your calculator anyway because they're squaring and there's a square root. And so if you're going to use the calculator anyway, just use the uh, first variable stats, okay? So while it's in the book, uh, I think the calculator is um, the way to go. All right. So that's pretty much it for this lesson. We just wanted to be able to calculate the range and the standard deviation, and we did that. And so uh, wait for the next video.